is going on beautiful people welcome back to my channel this is cooking with mama mav it's me mama mav so thank you for joining me today y'all we are cooking pork chops honey glazed pork chops honey garlic glazed pork chops garlic honey glazed pork chops whatever way you want to say it you got garlic you got honey and a pork chops boom and we're about to make this so without further ado let's get in this so the first thing we want to do is chop up our onion and scoot that bad boy to the side now let's get into these pork chops honey here we go with the seasoning we got some garlic and you want to season these pork chops like you've never seasoned before they need to have the flavor we got our cumin going on in there we also going in with some smoked paprika. This is mostly for some beautiful coloring on these pork chops. We also have some onion powder. I know y'all see that shirt back there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's not forget about the adobo. As you notice, I put no salt on these because in the adobo, there is already salt. So we are just gonna pat these. There's a flavor into the pork chops. And that is our final product, y'all. This is what your pork chop should look like after you have seasoned them full of flavor. Ooh, my mouth is watering. We are going into the sauce, honey. We got some better than bouillon. We got some white vinegar. We got some hot honey. And don't you worry, all the ingredients and how much of each ingredient you need is in the description below. Let's get back to these pork pork chops you see me throwing some bacon grease into my iron skillet my cast iron skillet and we are about to lay these pork chops down and get them cooking you want to make sure your cast iron skillet is already up to temperature so when these pork chops hit all you hear is that sizzle and look at how beautiful they are you only want to cook them three to four minutes on each side so I'm just trying to get them to a beautiful golden before I take them off the heat. And this is a close-up shot on what they should look like once you take them off the pan. Now let's get into the sauce. There goes some butter. We got our onions making the appearance again. And we are going to saute these onions down and add in some minced garlic. Because these two together, they just, the flavor is just... Out of this world here goes our sauce we are pouring that into the pan and we are gonna let it cook down I know it don't look good now but just wait once the sauce is cooked down just enough we're gonna go back to our pork chops and look they've been resting the juices is coming out of them but don't throw away that juice you're gonna put that juice right into that sauce because that's all the flavor we need we can't get rid of it so here I am basting the pork chops, just putting all that flavor on the top of them and letting that sauce continue to cook down until it gets to this beautiful glaze. And you don't want to keep your pork chop in there for too long because we do not want to dry these bad boys out. That is our finished product, y'all. Let's jump into the plate. And on the side, I did some herbed mashed potatoes there's a little bit of butter going on top of those potatoes and here comes our star that thick juicy pork chop just adding the onions on top and you cannot forget to pour that sauce all over and just look at how delicious y'all yeah, cannot wait for you to try this out the amount of sauce that you use is totally up to you but of course i went extra because <laughs> why not there goes some chives on those potatoes and y'all our final product our honey glazed garlic pork chop so good y'all you gotta try it you gotta leave it in the comments below when you do to let me know don't forget to hit that subscribe button and until next time